Hello you guys! Welcome back to my channel. Today we are going to go ahead and skip the intro. If you guys are new here, my name is Lorena Aguirre and I post every Saturday. But I did want to come on here and show you guys basically how I prep the nails start to finish when doing a full set. So right here I do have this cuticle pusher and I am pushing back all the cuticles. This is just to make sure that the cuticles are up and out of the way because I really don't want any acrylic to be put over the nails and I like just the flawless application and just because sometimes I do notice um, people's um, cuticles they do stick more down on certain sides so basically it just gives that nice rounded edge instead of having the cuticles like just in your way and whatnot but and then after I'm gonna go ahead and get this medium sanding bit they do have some from Koopa and honestly I really like those ones um I think the next time that I get them, I will be doing those ones because I ended up getting some other ones and I wasn't really a fan of those ones. So definitely try out Koopa Medium Sand Bit. But if you guys aren't comfortable with the medium ones, you guys could definitely go with the fine ones. If you guys are a starter nail tech, I would definitely recommend going in with the fine ones. Just especially when you are working on the natural nail, just because you don't want to over file and make their natural nails super thin. Just because then after they're going to feel, if they were to take off their acrylics, that their nails are super, super fragile. And with buffing really lightly with the drill, you guys won't end up having to worry about that. But, and this is a pterygium stone nail bit, and basically what this does is making sure that you are taking off all of the cuticles. If you guys could see, a little bit is still coming off, and this doesn't sand your nails whatsoever. It basically just goes in and takes off the cuticle, and that is it. And I love, love, love this, because you guys could still see that there is stuff coming off. And I do have this fluffy brush, and I just wanted to dust everything down and get it out of my way. And then getting this Bond Aid from OPI. This stuff is amazing, you guys. I've been using this for a really, really long time. And it just dehydrates the nails. And then these effortless tips in the glue from Montage Nail Supply. I really like these because it makes my job super fast, especially having the tips that are for certain shapes. I love that just because it cuts down the time and I don't have to go in and shape and get all in there and cut them down and do all of that like basically it's already done for you and all you have to do is just clip them to size and if you guys want them a little bit more narrow of bio means do that but um yeah I love these tips you guys um they aren't flimsy or anything like that just because I have gotten some um that they are a little bit flimsy from different brands and even montage for their stiletto tip I did notice that theirs was a little bit flimsy too so I'm hoping that they come out with something that's a little bit thicker just because I do enjoy the thicker ones are like they're not super thick but like they're just sturdy so you guys could kind of feel that on the nails um unless you guys don't need to file at all with those tips and you guys want to keep the length and everything with the stiletto ones from montage I would definitely recommend them just because you're just going in over with acrylic but, I mean, if you guys want me to show you a video on those ones, on how I use them and how they work for me, make sure to comment down below and I'll go ahead and do that. And so right here you guys see that I am measuring the nails with this nail forms. I do tape them back to back. So I go in and basically go up to each nail instead of guessing just because I felt like whenever you guess, you guys could, might you guys might actually go in too short and then it's like, dang, I had to put a new tip on there um, just to make it like everything flow in the sizes to be the same and I feel like my clients they do really love this just because it ensures that all of their nails are the same length and they don't have to worry about looking at the other hand and thinking that their nails are uneven all right so right here you guys are seeing me get the sanding bit this is the medium grit and then after I'm just going in there mainly focusing on the corners of the nail tip and blending it into the natural nail the reason why I'm doing that is because I am using a colored acrylic and I do find that Sometimes if you don't do this, you guys are going to end up seeing that clear tip sticking out of the colored acrylic and it's not a good look. I don't like the way it looks. It feels like I'm missing polish or something. So this is the reason why I do this. And so I'm going to go ahead and just do all of them and then even filing the tip. The reason why I file the tip is just because it helps with the bead of acrylic not just slip and slide all over the place. This just really helps keep it on the nail and making sure that it has a little bit of something to stick to and it's not just gonna flow off the nail and fall wherever so I do feel like this tip it does help a lot 
um, depending on some acrylic, sometimes I don't do this and sometimes I do, but it's just personal preference in the products that you use. But I definitely always blend the tip just because I do feel like with colored acrylic, you guys don't want to see the tip sticking out just because depending on people's certain, certain shapes of their nail beds, if they're flat, the, the sides of the tips will end up tending to stick out more. And you see me went, go in with the cuticle pusher again. I just want to make it nice and clean. So um, just in case any of the cuticles went out of place, I did end up like pushing them back. And I am getting this OP, or this Young Nails Bond Aid. And this stuff is amazing. And then right here, you guys can see I am just showing my client the swatches. And we're going over what we are going to pick for her nails. And she was talking about those ones she does definitely want to do for next time. And those were the ones she chose for today. Or you guys see right here, I do have a paper towel down. Usually I do have a nail towel down, but for the purpose of the video, just because I did want a clean background, I only have the paper towel down. But right here, you guys see me going in with a clear acrylic. I do use that one from Young Nails, and it's a really good acrylic. I do have a lot of it, so I am waiting to kind of like finish with it before I do start a new one just because I want to compare them for you guys just because I know like I've been using this one for a really long time. I do really like Young Nails, but I am down to try something new. So if you guys have clear acrylic that you guys absolutely love and it's super easy to use, make sure to comment down below. I am super interested in trying it out and comparing them or let me know if there's some that you just want to see me try out. This glitter mix, it is from Montage Nail Supplies, so make sure to check them out. You guys are able to get 10 or 15% off. And before the code, you were only able to use it in our online but now you're actually able to use it in store so definitely if you guys are ever in the area make sure to check it out because they do have a lot more on are in store than they have on the website and definitely worth your while they have so much and a lot of their prices are pretty good especially if you guys want to get stuff to encapsulate their stuff is like literally a dollar so make sure to go in and check them out you won't be disappointed all right, and then I'm getting this Milky White from Montage and just patting this into place. I love the, how do I say, like I love the consistency of this. <laughs> Sorry, I can't, couldn't find the word. But yeah, I love the consistency of this powder just because it goes on so smooth and just patting it to place it. I feel like honestly this is pretty easy to work with and even the Dusty Rose, um, our Desert Rose, one of those ones. I feel like so far all of their nude acrylics, they feel like they are pretty easy good to work or easy to work with the consistency of them is pretty good so make sure to check those out you guys I really really like them um but yeah so back into basically what I'm doing I do like to use the three ball method I am really interested in trying to do the one ball method but the reason I guess just out of being like used to and stuck in my ways that's the only reason why I don't I will only really use the one ball method if I'm doing super short nails but since these are like a medium length um I do just want to go in here and do the three ball method the three ball method sorry I ended up grabbing the other acrylic and thinking that I was gonna blend that on here just because on some of the nails, I do want there to be an ombre, but this one, I wasn't really feeling it. So I went ahead and just ended up doing the white, making sure to clean up the cuticle area. If you guys could even be cleaner than this, that would be perfect just because I did end up making my ball a little bit too wet right there by the cuticle. And so you guys want to make sure to at least, if you guys feel like your bead of acrylic is too wet, um, put the back of it down the back of your brush on the paper towel and it, it will actually absorb some of that water or the monomer sorry and then right here you guys can kind of just see like I'm going back and forth about like what colors that I am going to use I ended up getting this light pink from Montage Nail Supply at the time it was called number two but I know they have changed the name since then um and this one is actually tan that I'm using but the one that I am using to ombre that is the number two I'm sure if you guys go in and you guys ask them what their number two was you guys will be able to find it in there um but yeah I do have a majority of the stuff linked down below so let me know if you guys want to see any more of their stuff just because I do know I show quite a bit of it but right here you guys could see that I did end up doing actually a two ball method and then going in with the cuticle area with one ball 
The reason why I like to do the two ball or three ball is just because I feel like it actually gives a nice apex and if I, I do feel like personally for me if I were to go in and do a one ball method I do feel like my nails always come out kind of flat so it is definitely something that I need to work on um, but for the sake of the video and for clients purposes I don't ever really want to try that on there just because sometimes like I am booked back to back so I need to I don't know like be time efficient when I am working so right here I'm just gonna be doing an ombre and with this I do like to make sure it's pretty thin up at the top and do it thicker towards the base the reason for that is just because I do feel like it blends a lot better even if you guys want to go in and blend that up at the top you're more than welcome to but sometimes I don't feel the need to do that, so I don't. It depends on how high I or how long the nails are and if that blend is going to be showing at the from underneath the nails. So I do really want to make sure that it's blended or whatever. So that's why I'll go in and blend it if I need to, if it kind of starts at the middle of the nail. And you guys could see that I'm just thickening up the tip of the nail, making sure it's nice and strong. You guys could also cap all the nails with clear acrylic and even get your shape. So if you guys don't want to use colored acrylic, um, I kind of steer both ways. I do always like to cap it with clear acrylic, but I know there is some nail techs that don't. But in my experience, I do feel like I get a better outcome when I do do the clear acrylic up, at the up and over the nails. And colored acrylic typically ends up being more expensive, so it's better to kind of save your color for doing your art and making your art and then just capping it all with the clear acrylic. So a little tip if you guys want to save some money. And another tip is that clear acrylic, um, what I have learned is that clear acrylic, it is stronger than colored acrylic so that is another reason why as well and you guys could see I'm patting it all into place sometimes I like to lift the nail up and so I am able to see what the tip of it looks like and make sure that the tip is nice and even going all the way across so I like to angle it different areas or different angles just so then you guys could or so I could see what I'm doing and what the shape looks like because looking at it from dead on and just looking at the flat top of the nail um, sometimes you think that it's perfect and it doesn't need anything but I like to wiggle from the side look at the side of the nail look down the nail look up the nail like I like to see it in different ways just because sometimes you guys might be missing something and you guys don't even know it so if you guys have to make sure to look all over the place and yeah it definitely helps and so right here you guys can see that I'm just getting this file it is an 80 grit file and I make sure to just sand off the, the sides of the file just because you don't want to go in and like be super rough and get all the way up in there and then cut your clients cuticles and stuff I know it does happen but if you guys could I don't know be less likely to do it your clients will appreciate you for that just because it does stain it does burn and especially like if any of your clients are in the kitchen imagine like getting lemon on your cuticles ooh, it'd be burning so <laughs> just make sure to I don't know do that nice little thing for them they will definitely appreciate it I know I have clients that are like wow you're so gentle and stuff like and I mean with sometimes I know it is inevitable when you do end up like hurting them because it's never on purpose it's just like you're just working and you're like in a rhythm and sometimes it does happen accidents happen but yeah if you guys could avoid it as much at all cost that'd be great you know but yeah so basically I'm going in and filing all the nails I do like these files I will end up linking them down below but I like to make sure that the nails are nice and straight and I feel like these have a nice thickness to them and they don't bend all over the place so that is also really really nice and then I like to take the file and then go all the way across the nails as well and you see me going all the way across and filing and the 
reason why I like doing this is just because it takes down a lot of the product at once instead of using the Dremel. I do feel like this is faster for me and I like to, even when I'm filing, I like to angle the nails both back and forth. Reason being is because sometimes you might miss, you might miss it, a certain spot that needs to be filed. And then after once you're done, you're like, oh man, I had to pull out the file and I had to redust the nails off. But I mean, if you gotta do what you gotta do. So I mean, with me, if things aren't perfect, it does bother me. So even I will have to go in once in a while and fix something. I don't mind doing it just because it's gonna bother me <laughs> if I don't, just because I'm so nitpicky. Um, but yeah, I feel like with me, I try to be as perfect as I can and making sure that my client is happy just because these are the nails that they are going to be wearing for two weeks and this is what they are paying for so I do really want to make sure that their nails are perfect for them um but yeah I know some people that they do kind of have the mentality if they don't like it when somebody tells them how to do their job with doing nails and stuff they don't like it if their client takes the file from them and stuff like that but with me, I feel like I'm a little bit more laid back. I just, I do feel that if I'm not able to get it and like, cause I've had like a client ask me like, oh, like it's still not straight. Like, and then she'll go in and go in and file her nail. But I mean, for me, that doesn't bother me and I don't take offense to it whatsoever. It's just because sometimes like the way I angle her nails and see things is a different way than that she angles it. And I mean, unless I get on the whole other side of the chair, like I always strive to do the best possible work that I can but I mean and sometimes their finger is crooked so I'm trying to make their finger look straight and you know so there's different things that play a factor so just I mean if you guys have to fix it by all means just go ahead and do what makes your client happy it that will always help you have returning clients and stuff and they'll be always happy to come back and let them feel comfortable to be able to tell you if something is wrong because if they don't feel comfortable enough to tell you like if there was something wrong, then you'll never be able to learn for, from your mistakes, especially if you are first starting out. So usually when I am done filing, before I buff and dust them off, I do ask my clients, like, how do they look? Do you want anything different? Just because they might see something that you might not or something might not bother them that might not bother you. So, I mean, unless it's like a completely different style of nails. Like with me, there are certain styles of nails that I definitely don't like to do and <laughs> just because I know myself and I just won't take um, like the, what is it? Like back in the day, it used to be like these duck nails. Everybody loved those and everybody wanted me to do them and I was never a fan of them and I knew I would end up trying to taper the nails and trying to make them <laughs> look pretty but for me, like... I just wasn't a fan of them. Are the bubble nails, you guys? Do you guys remember when the bubble nails were coming out? Like, everybody wanted those. Oh, my gosh. I couldn't. <laughs> but, um, yeah, so, I mean, just try to make your clients happy. They will really appreciate you for it. I mean, they are coming to you for a reason, so don't feel the need to completely switch up your style if it's not your style and you don't want to do it, you know, by all means. But I do feel like um, if it's just, like, fixing the tip and straightening it out, whatever, by all means, go ahead and do that. But yeah, and so right here, I'm just going back and pressing back the cuticle right here in this clip, just because I don't want to end up filing her skin. So that's why I'll go back and press it back if I feel like it needs to. And then I'll go ahead in and go and get around the cuticle and make sure it's nice and neat. And it is flush with everything else going on and blending into her natural new. And basically still having that apex. You guys really want to make sure that you guys don't get the acrylic on the skin. The reason being is because if you guys get the acrylic on the skin or the cuticles, your nails are not going to stick. And just try to be careful if you guys do get acrylic underneath the nails. If you guys have to, go and fill the whole nail. Fill on the top of the nail, fill under the nail, just because that is something that is going to help you. And your clients, if they are anything like me, I am a picker. So if I feel something on my nail or something that shouldn't be there, I'm going to pick at it and pick at it and pick at it. And if they do that, they're just going to end up breaking their nails or end up like messing something up or lifting the nail or whatever. So you guys really want to make sure that you guys get all those things for them just because if not, if they feel a little bit of acrylic left at the bottom, if it ran and dripped or anything and you guys don't check the bottom of their nails, they are going to feel it. It is going to bother them. 
And so, yeah, just make sure to clean that up so they don't pick it. Um, and then, yeah, I like to go back and forth, you guys, and see if there's anything that I need to work on. And even while the nails see, you guys see me going back and something right there was bothering me. And I like to hold the nails up like this and making sure that the nails are straight across. I do feel like this helps me making sure that their nails are just has that nice crisp look and they are straight. Let me know if there are different ways that you guys like to do this. Just because I know different nail techs, they do work different. But this is my way and this is what I feel like it works for me. So, I mean, whatever works for you guys, of course, by all means, do that. There are so many different ways to work, you guys. This is just my way and I just wanted to share with you just because I do get questions on this quite a bit. Um, but, yeah, so I hope you guys really enjoyed this video um, because, yeah, it's just showing basically everything that I am doing and how I work, what I use, the, my process, and, you know, not being afraid of going back and fixing things. You know, that is something that I feel like at the beginning I was almost embarrassed to do. Real quick, I am using Mia Secret 100-180 grit buffer. I love these. Make sure to, to use these, you guys. They are amazing. I, I will link some down below in an alternative for a cheaper brand just because I know they are a little bit up there in price, but yeah. But yeah, so um, basically at the beginning of my nail career, I was definitely too shy to go back to ever and go back and fix things. I mean, unless it was nail art. Nail art, you guys know, I would like go back and take the whole like design off and not care and like repaint it and everything. But now I definitely like to go in and refile. The reason why I didn't really like to refile, even if I seen something more towards the end, was just almost like being embarrassed about if they thought I didn't know what I was doing. But now, I mean, I wish I wasn't just because if you guys aren't shy or anything like that, I feel like your nail career will, will really be able to go far just because you guys won't have to worry about like, Oh, like caring I guess about what they think and just do you you know if that's gonna help your nail career make sure to do that but yeah right here you guys I am using the montage nail supply foil gel I really like this but I do recommend doing the time that it says on the bottle because if I do notice if you over cure with the foil gels it does end up curing to the point where it's almost like there's no tack to it and if there's no tack to it, your foil is just not going to go on as seamless. So I did decide to do it on two nails just because I feel like it would look super cute and put it in the light for the 60 seconds. And you guys, you guys are able to actually do the full nail of foil with these. And it, it comes out amazing. So make sure to check out this foil gel because before I used to use Gel XR. And this is actually better than Gel XR. And before at the time... Everyone was so crazy about Gel XR, but I mean, this stuff is pretty bomb, so make sure to check it out just because I really do enjoy this. And then even the Young Nails Top Coat, their stuff works pretty well. If you guys know another top coat, make sure to let me know down below what are your guys' favorites just because I've been using this one for so long, you guys, that I love it so much, but... I am kind of wanting to try a new one just to see what's out there. Um, but yeah, let me know which ones if you guys want me to do a shiny top coat review. Alright, and then this I did want to do a matte top coat over the tops of these nails. I thought it would be super beautiful. And then I wanted to put a top coat over this one as well. And basically right here you guys could kind of see like what I am putting the designs over the nail to kind of see what I wanted to do on them. The reason why I'm putting a top coat over this nail is just because I want it to be super smooth. If there are any ridges in it, I do feel like it'll kind of be like interfering with the decal. So I did want to put a top coat down so it was just nice and smooth and it adhered to it really, really well. And then I like to go and glide my fingers across the edges of the nail. The reason being is because it removes any bulk from the nail. So if the top coat did make it any, it did make it bulky at all, it'll just go in and smooth it out and making sure that there it doesn't bubble out the nails and the nails don't lose its shape. 
All right, and then I'm getting my tweezers and I'm just going in and getting the decal off of here. And you guys, these I also got at Montage Nail Supply. They do have like other colors. I know they have white, they had silver, and then some other ones. My sister, she is getting into nails as well, and she did end up getting the silver ones, and it made me regret not getting the silver ones because when she showed me over camera, they look so pretty, and I just know, like, nail art stuff, if it looks pretty on camera, it looks even better on in person. So, yeah, so this is basically what they look like all matte. I did end up applying a crystals off of camera, but the resin that I did use was Montage Nail Supplies. And yeah, so in just a second, you guys will be able to see what the nails look like. I hope you guys really enjoyed this video. I enjoyed making it for you guys, so make sure to hit that like button. And don't forget to subscribe to my channel. And as usual, I'll be back with more videos. Bye!